Hi everyone, welcome to Black Fashion's YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you are new here, you are very welcome. You are highly welcome. Today we'll be learning how to stitch together this flat jacket. In our previous video, I posted a tutorial on how to draft and cut this jacket. Okay, so to begin, I've joined my shoulders together, both the right and the left. And then I've gone ahead to fold my zip allowance, as you can see in the picture or in the video. I've gone ahead to fold my zip allowance, which is one inch. I came down by 22 inches from the neckline. That's the length or the space I'm leaving for my zipper. And then I went ahead to sew three inches. And then I left the remaining, which is seven inches that will serve as my slit. So this is me sewing the other side of my zipper. I made sure that I'm sewing on the one inch I left for my zipper allowance. You want to do this carefully so that your neckline is balanced. You don't want to use more than the zip allowance you added so that is why it is very necessary for you to iron your zip allowance so that you sew exactly on the zip allowance that you left okay so after doing this the next thing to do is to make sure that i weave my rough edges which is on the zip allowance area i'll do that so i've finished fixing my zipper you can see how it's laying flat so the next thing to do is to bring in my collar. I'm going to be sewing my collar on half inch on the three sides. That's on both sides and the upper part of my collar. So you want to turn sharply at the sharp edges. So I'm leaving my needle down on my collar or into my collar so that it will allow me to turn sharply the way I want it to be. So after sewing this collar, you want to carefully turn it out from the lower part of the collar. So you can see what I have. I'll carefully notch that part, the sharp edges. This is to allow me to turn it out easily and so that it doesn't have that blunt look at the tips of the collar. So carefully doing this, I'm going to use my scissors to also push out the sharp parts okay so you want to just make sure that you are doing this carefully and even when you're using your scissors to push it out you have to be careful so that the scissors doesn't poke or tear the collar so after doing this i'm going to iron this collar you can see what i have i'm going to iron this collar and top stitch the down part that's the part i turned out my collar from so i'll just go ahead to iron it and then top stitch it Okay, so after top stitching it, the next thing to do is to fold this collar into two, into two to get the midpoint of this collar. And then you can see, so, and I fold it into two to get the midpoint of this collar. I also fold the jacket into two to get the midpoint also. That's folding the neckline into two because I want to sew my collar to it. So you can see how I'm holding my jacket to notch the back. That's the back neckline because that's where I'm going to get my midpoint. So sorry, my camera did not capture that part, but you already, I'm sure you already understand or you already, on, you already understood what I'm talking about. So now I'm placing both notches together. You can see I'm going ahead to pin the neckline. So after pinning your neckline, after pinning your collar to the neckline, you're going to go ahead and sew it on half inch. So I pinned my collar exactly where my zipper stopped or exactly after my zipper allowance, as you can see from the video. You want to make sure that it gets exactly to where the zipper stops or where the zipper started from, whichever one that you understand. What I'm just trying to say is that there should be no space between the collar and the zipper so immediately after the zipper your collar should come so i want to sew my collar on half inch on the neckline so after doing that after sewing my collar around 
on the neckline. The next thing to do is to notch those parts. And then I'll bring in my facing to sew it to the neckline of to the neckline of the jacket. So you want to carefully do this because the neckline, remember that the shoulder area is not going to be relaxed. Remember that the neckline is curved and this collar is kind of straight. So you want to just carefully do this so that it doesn't gather around the shoulder area or even any part of the neckline. So this is what I have after fixing my collar. So the next thing to do, like I earlier said, is to bring in my facing. Can you see what I have? So it's to bring in my facing. I'll make sure that I place my facing on the neckline. So I'm going to, first thing to do to my facing is to join the shoulder of my facing. Like I earlier joined the shoulder of the main jacket. So I'll join the shoulder of my facing and then pin it round to sew it to the neckline of my collar. This is to use it to turn the rough edges. Like I earlier said that facing is a smaller version of your actual wear okay so here i am pinning my facing and making sure that at that shoulder joining the shoulder joining of my facing and the shoulder joining of my actual jacket is they are aligning so it's very important for them to align because this is what will allow it relax very well on your shoulder you don't want to miss any point so you just carefully sew it on the same half inch that you use to join your collar to the jacket. So you want to be careful when you are sewing this part because this will determine how neat and how relaxed the jacket will be. Okay, so after doing this, I'm going to go ahead to notch the neckline round. This is to enable me iron it well and so that it's relaxed. Can you see the part I'm holding, which is the shoulder part? I'm making sure that I stretch it out so that I don't have any pack around that place. Okay. So, you can see I've turned my corner and it's coming out nicely. So, can you see that part I'm holding? That's the part I was talking about. You want to be careful when you're sewing that part so that it doesn't gather. The part is curvy, so there will be strain around that area. So, that is why I'm going ahead to notch all the curved parts so that my collar can relax so you take it to your ironing table and press after turning the collar at the zip allowance area you want to sew your zip allowance down to where your collar stops that's you're using your um, your facing to turn the zip allowance at that point so that even if you want to open the jacket you can open it and you're not afraid that they are seeing the, the woven part inside. So you want to turn that facing neatly. Okay. So after doing that, the next thing to do is to also bring in my sleeve. You can see that I've gathered my sleeve to my flare and I've sewn them together. So I'm going to fix my sleeve now to the armhole. I'll sew it and then weave it. So after doing that, we are almost done. I'm going to shape my jacket on one inch. Then I'll go ahead to weave it and also weave the hem and fold it on half inch. And then I'll show us the outcome. Okay, so this is the outcome of our jacket. Can you see how the high-low jacket is looking? It's really coming out very neat and beautiful. I love the outcome. If this tutorial was helpful, kindly like share subscribe to my youtube channel ask questions if you have any and then invite your sewing friends or your sew friends so that we can all learn together so we'll be stopping right here so see you in my next one bye